So Grand Lake is home to the Grand Lake Canoe. And we met this guy, Bob, who makes his own canoes, which is really special. My name's Bob Gonyer, and we're here in Grand Lake Stream, Maine. I'm a Maine guide. I guide all summer long, and I work on canoes in the wintertime. Well, the manholes, they all screamed and hit something in the air. Smell like this is hotel. I started building canoes with my father-in-law quite a few years ago, and uh, he could build a canoe in about a week and get it off the mold and have it pretty well finished. It takes me two or three weeks because uh, I spent more time chasing his daughter than I did learning how to build canoes, so I should have probably paid closer attention. But anyway, I did, didn't learn a lot from him. He's, he was a clever man. As the rain, rats, and hogs starts... It takes a lot of time to learn everything, and I think you... Uh, Every time you build one, you learn something else. Yeah, it's a very rewarding experience. The Grand Lake Canoe is really cool. It's all made of wood and it has this fiberglass skin that goes over cedar planking that is also built onto these ribs of the canoe. Every part and piece of that canoe is hand cut, hand milled, and handmade. On the ground. From the payphone, someone called the police when they come We're about to go out on these pretty amazing Grand Lake canoes. So after talking to Bob and about his experience of building canoes and growing up building canoes, we were able to go out in one of the Grand Lake canoes and really experience why these canoes are built the way they are. So the Grand Lake canoe can actually take a motor right on the back that takes you across these big lakes and we got to go out on Grand Lake. We motored down to this peninsula and had a little kind of cookout right on this campsite, right on the point of this peninsula. The highlight of the day for a lot of people is what we call a shore dinner, uh, which is a cookout lunch on the lake shore. Uh, where oftentimes we'll cook uh, the fish of the day that we catch in the morning. Uh, we'll do steak, chicken, pork chops. We fry up potatoes and onions. We make guide coffee on the fire. That's a highlight for people that come here to fish. It's a nice break from fishing during the middle of the day. I've fished most of my life until the last 10 years and I've done a lot of paddling and I was able to go back to fishing and I did it with David Haddon from Old Town Canoes. Hi, I'm David Haddon. I'm the brand director at Old Town Canoe Company in Old Town, Maine. So I grew up fishing uh, pretty much if it swam in the water, I'd like to catch it. Uh, my parents had me fly fishing as a kid. They taught me how to fish from canoe and that's kind of where my whole uh, career aspirations came from. Now I mostly like to fly fish and uh, there's nothing better than doing it up here on some of the streams and lakes in, uh, in Grand Lake Stream. The fun thing about fishing is that you're out there, you're not sitting in front of a computer, uh, and it's different every day. Even if you fish the same stream day after day, it's gonna be different. The fish are gonna be holding in different areas. Um, the wildlife along the river is gonna be different. The water temperatures, everything's different than the day before. Yeah. Yeah. My handle is an integrated fishing rod holder as well. So I got to stand up paddleboard fish, which was really fun for me. I can stand up and I can see the fish and cast for them. This has been an amazing trip. I've always wanted to fish this area. Uh, in fact, I think I might have caught this. Someone said the first salmon to move into the stream this year that was, that was documented. So that was pretty cool. Uh -oh. <laughs> Who's the guy here? That was yours spot on. The other one came up and whacked it. 
Uh, the lakes are great because that's a little bit more easier place to get out on the canoes, on the kayaks, on the paddle boards. Uh, on the paddle board, it was just great because uh, you could stand up. Uh, that made it a lot easier to cast. Um, you could sight fish, you could see. Um, we caught a lot of little pickerel, and uh, the cool thing was, is, as you could see the one you were gonna cast too, so the paddle board was, was huge in having that ability.